here we have graphing an exponential function and its asymptote and now they're throwing in negatives everywhere so you could have a negative in the exponent or you could have a negative in the front we already know that a negative in the front is going to cause it to flip over the x-axis but a negative in the exponent is actually going to cause it to flip over the y-axis now you can remember that from transformations or you can just do what we've been doing already which is just graphing these things using a table and because there's no shifts up or down, all of the asymptotes are still going to be on top of that x-axis. So when I plug this in, parentheses, 4 over 3, close the parentheses, and raise it to the negative, and now I plug in these numbers, negative 1. I get 4 thirds. Now I'm going to go back, and instead of a negative 1 being plugged in, I'm going to plug in a 0. And then now instead of that, I'm gonna plug in a one. And I get three fourths. So I already know because there's no plus or minus outside the basic function. It's not shifting up or down. So I still have this horizontal asymptote. And then if I plot these, I have negative 1 and 4 thirds, 0 and 1, and then 1 and 3 fourths, and so then there's the image there. You would plot your three points using the plot a point icon, then you would plot your horizontal asymptote using that icon, and then you would click on the graph a function icon, and you'd be done. So then when I plot these points, and I just use the calculator to find those values. Um, if you don't know how to do it in your head, that's fine. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. So negative one and negative one third, zero and negative one, and then negative positive one and negative three. And the asymptote is still on the x-axis since there's nothing being added or subtracted over here. I'm trying to draw it nice, but I never draw these things perfect. Okay, now the next one. So we do our chart. And then we graph. Again, nothing being added or subtracted outside, so same spot for the asymptote. Negative one, positive one, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we have negative one and negative two and a oh, negative two and two thirds, zero and negative one, one and negative three eighths. So this one's pretty close. There we go. And then finally, the last one. Notice I have two x there, so make sure you put that in the calculator. Um, so negative one, zero, and one. So negative parentheses one over five. Close it. Raise to the two times negative one. Negative twenty-five. Wait, zero. Negative one. And negative 1 over 25. Now this one especially, you're going to have to use that graph of point and that one because normally the graph doesn't go that high. So you plot, we'll just say this is, uh, or this down here is negative 25. Your asymptote is there. So you plot negative 1 and negative 25, negative, or 0 and negative 1, and then positive 1 and one negative 1 25th. So it's like real close to the x-axis but it's underneath and so then it looks kind of like that you don't have to worry about it the computer will graph it for you just make sure you put your points graph your asymptote and then click the graphing function